I never expected a simple Craigslist transaction to turn into a nightmare, but that's exactly what happened to me. I was searching for a used phone and stumbled upon a great deal. The seller seemed friendly and eager to make the sale. We agreed to meet in a public place, but as I arrived, I got an uneasy feeling. The seller was already there, standing in the shadows. Ignoring my gut instinct, I approached cautiously. The phone looked fine, and we exchanged cash for the device. However, as I walked away, I noticed the seller lingering, watching me intently. I brushed it off as paranoia and headed home. That's when things took a chilling turn. Late that night, my phone began acting strangely. It would ring, but when I answered, there was only static on the other end. Odd messages started popping up, seemingly from random numbers. They were nonsensical at first, but then they turned sinister, mentioning details about my life that only someone close to me would know. Terrified, I tried to reset the phone, but it seemed to have a mind of its own. Apps opened and closed on their own, and I could feel someone watching me through the device's camera. Desperate to rid myself of this cursed phone, I tried to contact the seller, but their Craigslist account had been deleted. I went to the police, but they couldn't trace the seller or the phone's origins. In the end, I had no choice but to destroy the device and hope that whatever dark force was attached to it would finally leave me alone. But to this day, I can't shake the feeling that I'm being watched, haunted by the horrors of that fateful Craigslist transaction. I was in desperate need of a new apartment, and Craigslist seemed like the perfect place to find a deal. I found a listing for a cozy studio apartment in a quiet neighborhood at an unbelievably low rent. It seemed too good to be true, but I couldn't resist the opportunity. When I arrived at the address provided in the listing, I was taken aback by the dilapidated state of the building. Ignoring my reservations, I met the landlord, a frail old man with a strange glint in his eyes. He eagerly showed me the apartment which, despite its rundown appearance, had a certain eerie charm to it. I decided to overlook the building's condition and signed the lease, eager to have a place to call my own. However, it wasn't long before I realized that something was seriously wrong with this place. Strange noises echoed through the walls at night and I often felt like I was being watched. Objects would go missing, only to reappear in odd places days later. The electricity would flicker without explanation, and a foul stench permeated the air, despite my best efforts to clean the apartment. The nightmares were the worst part. Every night, I was plagued by horrifying dreams of shadowy figures lurking, whispering into my ear. As the nightmares grew worse and the apartment's grip on me tightened, I knew I had to escape before it was too late. One day, I called my friend who helped me pack and we just left. As I looked back one last time, I could have sworn I saw the landlord's sinister grin illuminated by the moonlight. To this day, I can't shake the feeling that the apartment's malevolent presence still lingers, waiting to ensnare its next unsuspecting victim. I was in the market for a used car and turned to Craigslist to find a good deal. After browsing through numerous listings, I stumbled upon a promising ad for a well-maintained sedan at a price that seemed too good to pass up. I contacted the seller, a middle-aged man named Tom, and arranged to meet him at a local parking lot to inspect the car. When I arrived, Tom was already there, waiting beside the vehicle. He seemed friendly and eager to make the sale. The car looked great at first glance, and Tom assured me that it was in excellent condition. I took it for a test drive, and everything seemed to check out. Satisfied with the car's performance, I decided to go ahead with the purchase. We finalized the paperwork and I handed over the cash. I drove the car home, excited about my purchase, but that excitement quickly turned to dread when I discovered a hidden compartment in the trunk. Inside, I found a stash of what appeared to be stolen goods, jewelry, electronics, and even a handgun. I realized that I had unwittingly bought a car that was potentially linked to criminal activity. I immediately contacted the police and explained the situation. They launched an investigation and discovered that the car was indeed stolen, and Tom was involved in a larger criminal operation. Thankfully, I was able to return the car to its rightful owner and avoid any legal repercussions. 
but the experience left me shaken and wary of making purchases through online platforms like Craigslist. It was a stark reminder of the dangers lurking behind seemingly innocent transactions and the importance of staying vigilant.